Welcome to the Replicator 2 Color Keychain Project. This is the MakerBot Replicator software. It's probably already launched down on the bottom of your screen. If it's not, you can click this button and launch it. If it is launched, I was printing something, so you can click on that item and then press the delete key. Once you press the delete key, it's time to check the settings quick. When you hit the settings, we always want 10%, 0.3, and we don't want either of these selected. Most likely, you'll be able to just leave those alone. Now we need to add a file. When you click Add File, it'll naturally go to the STL files. If it doesn't, you can click this link to get there. In the list, if you look down the list, it'll be by date modified, and you'll be able to find your keychain base, KCB, and you'll be able to hit Open, and it'll appear. Click on that item, and I want you to click the arrows and center it. Go back to add file again, and this time find your keychain words. I'm gonna scroll down again. There are my KCW keychain words with my initials. When you press open, that'll appear. We need to do two things to it. First, we need to click the letter I, and we need to pick the other color. So we've got an extruder on the left and an extruder on the right. If you look over at the printer right now and see that the colors are different, you may fix them for me by hitting Edit App Settings and choosing the correct colors. So right now my left extruder has blue when I look at it and my right extruder has gray. And then when you close the windows, your colors will show up the same. I am rolling the wheel in to look at my shape. I'm gonna click on the Move button and I need to do a special trick to change it to two millimeters up in the air. And then I'm gonna hit center. I'm gonna change that two millimeters up again, and I'm gonna take a look at my keychain. If it lines up perfectly, I'm good to go. If not, I can hit scale, shut off uniform scaling, and I can use these little arrows to nudge my keychain to a different size. I can also relocate my words a little bit by nudging them to the right, up, down, as needed. When you've got it lined up the way you think it should be, come let me know and I will either tell you you can hit print or I will come check out your cool creation. I'm going to hit print on this one right now and it'll be done in about 10 to 12 minutes. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe. And if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, hit that notification bell. Have a great day, friends.